Good blood supply is critical for the body to provide healing and repair. Unfortunately, the skeletal system, our joints, tendons, and ligaments, have the poorest blood supply in the body because they are essentially mechanical elements. And any fine capillaries or arteries uh, in these tissues uh, could be damaged during the normal activity of movement. That's why if you look at an anatomy chart, you will see that all these tissues, the joints, tendons, and so forth, look white because in real life they are white, limited or very little blood supply. This means that they have a tendency to wear out more quickly than the rest of our body, which is why most people in their 40s and 50s start to complain about the musculoskeletal problems. Medical science addressed this issue many years ago, and after World War II, it developed techniques by injecting certain substances, sugars in particular, into these injured areas to stimulate greater blood flow. This was a controlled uh, medical inflammation. Inflammation is the process of healing and repair in your body. You know, if you get a little bug bite or a paper cut, the area starts to turn red, it becomes slightly swollen for a few days, things heal up, and then that subsides. That's the inflammatory response, and that's exactly the same type of response that we want to produce in the areas of damaged tendons, ligaments, or joints. So, medical science created this technique of injecting uh, substances. Initially, they were just sugars, which did a fairly okay job of healing and repair, but later on it was found that if you added ozone, O3, and by the way you can uh, check out one of my other uh, videos for more information on other areas of ozone, but by adding ozone to this they got a more improved inflammatory response, better healing and repair, but still not really that great. About five or six years ago uh, the technology was further improved because it was found that you could take a person's own blood and separate out what was called the platelets. These are the little tiny clotting factors in the blood, but they contain a lot of growth elements in them. And you separated these platelets out, mixed them in with the prolotherapy sugars, added them, and you got a greatly improved beneficial medical inflammatory response which really provided, provided very, very good localized healing and repair of tendons, joints, even cartilage. Finally, in the last few years, uh, the most significant advance has come, which is namely stem cells. Now, stem cells are a little bit of a scary word because when I, you hear stem cells, you think of, oh my goodness, embryos and all kinds of, you know, strange foreign material. The wonderful information and knowledge about this is we all have stem cells in our body. They are used every day for our constant healing and repair. Our body stores most of our stem cells in our bone marrow or in our abdominal fat. It's easily accessed by some very simple techniques. And so by removing stem cells, adding them to the platelets that we get from blood, which is by the way called PRP, platelet-rich plasma, adding these to this, we can create a very, very powerful, local, natural form of healing of, as I said, tendons, ligaments, cartilage, joint repair, to such a degree that very often surgery, surgical replacement, hip replacement, knee replacement becomes unnecessary. This is an outpatient, in-office, one-day type of technique. Surgery is not involved. We use all natural substances. The platelets come from the patient. The stem cells come from the patient. There's no worry about any contamination or foreign infection about it. It's a very, very important new technique, especially for people who are either elderly, for whom surgery represents a significant risk, or for patients who just can't afford the prolonged downtime of having surgery and physical therapy after that. If you have any questions, please give my office a call. We'll be happy to discuss the particulars and give you more information about it.